We had just finished our mural and songwriting workshop at Rancho El Camino. It was a great week of painting, songwriting, time with friends, and getting to experience a taste of ranch life. Our time at the ranch marked the end of our time in Baja. Our next stop was 1,500 miles away in Battle Mountain, Nevada, where we would be painting our next mural. Little did we know, the bus had different plans. The day we left Rancho El Camino, we headed to a nearby beach, Playa El Tecolote. That area is host to some of Baja's most famous beaches, and we wanted to see them before we left. No sooner had we arrived that Bobby Bus got the opportunity to be a good Samaritan for the day. These people that got stuck, we know how that feels. Let me see. Our next stop was a little more peaceful. We are at the famous Playa Balandra. That's right. And we are taking a little bit of time. We've both been working on stuff throughout the day, but we're gonna take like actually a little bit of time together. That's right. Let's go in the water. Yeah. Let's go in the water. Get to do this sometime. Beautiful blue water. After our little outing together, Jose Luis took out the drone, and wow, just wow. The next day, we were just about to start driving north when... So, what'd you just find? It's a little leak. I have no idea what happened here. So, before we start heading back up north, it would be a good idea to, to check this. This looks completely different than the other side. The other side is flat, so it doesn't have uh, an option to turn it. This one does, has a little kind of oh. like... like indentation there where you can actually turn this but it doesn't do anything it doesn't go in i don't want to pull it out because clearly we have oil in there i'll have to do a little bit of research to figure out what it is and then monday today's saturday so monday we're gonna have to find a place to have this checked we got it to the shop 
and the wheel issue ended up being nothing. But then why the heck were they now under the bus? So you might be curious, what is the issue? So way, way, way back when we were driving the Blue Ridge Parkway, one day we noticed some coolant on the pavement underneath the bus out of nowhere. We thought, oh, that's weird. Maybe it was because um, we had just had work done. Um, we had just had a big breakdown and we thought maybe, you know, there's something there. But then it was it was fine. It, it disappeared. There was no other leaks ever. Um, and then when we were in Garyville, Indiana, Indiana, Garyville, Louisiana, we had um, a breakdown, an issue with our electrical. But we worked with a guy who um, looked at a lot of other things, we, like we did a pulley, we did an alternator, we did all this other stuff. And when we changed out the alternator, a bunch of coolant came leaking out, um, which apparently is not normal. It should not have all flowed out like that when you're pulling out this particular piece that they pulled out. That's what I see. That's the whole front cover of the engine. That's the whole that's the whole front cover of the engine. So it turns out the issue is um, a leak in the coolant system that requires pulling off the whole front part of the engine and pulling off even the front engine cover to be able to get in there and fix the problem. So that is a huge job. It takes many days of work and as you can imagine that's not something that we want to have to do in the united states or canada so we're doing it here with guys we trust here's the clincher the front engine cover if it's in good shape they can just take it off do all the fixing of the stuff and then place it back on but if that front engine cover turns out to be corroded has issues it needs to be replaced then we are looking at a total of 81,000 pesos, which is about $4,000. And um, if that front engine cover does not need to be replaced, ours is good, and maybe it just needs a little reconditioning, then we're looking at a, a total repair cost of like $2,000. Now the, the crazy thing, and the reason we're doing this here in Mexico is look at this line here. 12,800 pesos, that's like $650. That's the labor for four days of work. In the United States, that'd be over two grand. Easy. Hopefully our front engine cover is good. This is one of the reasons we got a Florida bus because um, the lack of salt uh, from the roads, getting up and stuff, it's like it's supposed to not have as much issues and corrosion. And so hopefully Bobby's front engine cover is good. We have no idea, we'll find out. The other great thing about doing all this work here is that as long as they're gonna be taking out the whole front part of the engine, that's an opportunity to go in there and not only inspect and make sure everything else looks good, um, but also repair anything else that, that needs repair in there. Um, because like we said, this taking off all of this, like dismantling the whole front part, it's just a lot of labor and that costs a lot of money. And um, if there's something in there that's gonna be an issue later on, we'd prefer that it's taken care of now rather than having to pay again either here in Mexico or in USA or Canada to have somebody take off that whole thing again and all of that cost just to get into something that we could have been preventative about now. So we're taking this opportunity to have them, we're telling them do a full complete inspection. We want everything looked over, any work that needs done, as long as it's all taken apart, do it now. And um, hopefully that will be a smart financial decision in the long run, because then we will avoid costly repairs in more expensive places and very costly breakdowns in more expensive places. Hopefully this is a very preventative move and a smart move that we're making. We're banking on this. <laughs> hopefully this pans out well for us. We'll wish us luck. 
this job is going to be a huge job and it's going to take uh, between four and seven days. And we are at the mechanic right now and we asked if we could stay here while they work on the bus because we, you know, this is our home. And even though they understand that because of liability and this and that, they said they would love to let, you, let us stay here because they understand this is our home. But unfortunately, they can't. Which means we had to find a place to stay for a week, which is, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, so we found uh, this Airbnb where we're gonna be staying at in La Paz, just a few blocks from the Malecon. And we got a nice room where we can work. So what I'm doing right now, since this is our home, now we gotta move to another uh, temporary home. And so I gotta take my monitor so that I can keep editing photos and videos. I gotta take my camera gear because I'm planning to get out and do some photos. And obviously all the things, are the drone, batteries, we got some food and clothing. So it's a whole operation to move everything out of your little house because you cannot be in it. We'll get a week to isolate ourselves, get some work done while Bobby is getting some care and love, you know, and getting ready for many, 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 many thousands of miles more of adventure. So, all right, let's keep on packing and let's move to our new home. Since we're gonna have access to a kitchen, we're gonna take some food, so take some important ingredients to make some salad. You could take some olive oil, salt and pepper. I think I'm gonna take this. Uh, and some red wine vinegar. Packing food. Um, it's hard to know what to pack. Because, you know, it's like, the moment you leave your space, you're like, oh, but this and this and this, and you don't want to have to buy it the second time if you already have it. But at the same time, you don't want to lug all the stuff that you're not going to use. Moving out, we're gonna be seeing Bobby um, on and off during the week because they're really cool. They're going to allow us to come and document uh, when the engine is fully open. We are like about 20 minutes from the from the mechanic shop, uh, so we'll be coming back to the bus. But for now, we are moving. Moving out. All right, so we arrived to our room, which is gonna be our home for the next seven days. So we'll show you the room before we destroy it. Ah, before. The beautiful, beautiful, beautiful before. Now, if we were on vacation, this would probably stay looking like this. But, uh, got lots of videos to edit. Websites to build, murals to design. So, this is a working vacation for us. Hi. So, now you've seen. <sighs> wow. And look at this air conditioning. Time to make a mess out of this room. I'll start bringing things in. Okay. And there's the after. We got a space organized, ready for us to start working. So we moved this over here. We got the telephones charging there. My little workstation for the moment. The only thing we're missing for my workstation is the chair. This chair is a little too big to fit in there. So get it in and out would be a little problematic, but we are about to get a chair that will fit. Okay, we are on our way to go see our Bobby bus. Yep, today we're gonna find out if the front engine cover needs to be replaced. So by now the bus has been in the shop for two days, two full days. Uh, so they should have the engine completely open. It's gonna be kind of weird looking at the bus with all the pieces pulled apart. Moment uh, of truth. 
let's hope that those cleaning covers don't need to be replaced because that's a huge chunk of the cost of fixing this problem. Nothing quite prepares you for seeing your home like this, because that's what the bus is to us. It's home. Hopefully this is the only time that we see the bus like this, because it just completely taken apart. Like, like I'm going to show you her guts right now. Hey there. Welcome to our engine. This is what our engine looks like when it's all gutted out and open. So I see they're cleaning the engine cover. Uh, so let's go and check it out because we just got the news that they don't have to be replaced. So this is so exciting because now the repair cost is going to be way lower. So let's check it out. Famous last words. <laughs> So there's two engine covers, that's the front one, and we're going to check out the back. Wow, yeah. Está en muy buena condición. So the engine covers were okay, which was great news, because if we had needed to replace either of those, they were about $1,000 each. And then they showed us the culprit of the leak. Is that the seal? That's the old seal? Yeah, of the engine cover. Oh. So they were really bad shape. Oh, yeah. Y ya pues eso daña otras cosas, ¿no? Ahí, mira cómo está de picado. Yeah. Is it not strange that we should suffer so much fear and doubt for so small a thing? So small a thing. But unfortunately, we weren't out of the woods just yet. We just finished talking to the mechanics and we got good news and bad news. The good news is that we don't have to replace the front engine cover and the back engine cover, which they are very expensive. So when they told us, I was like, yes. We don't have to spend all the money and now the cost of repair is going to be cut to half. But now they notice that some of the pistons here are chipped off. And that implies doing uh, engine repair. Basically change all the sleeves and the pistons. And, and for some reason the mechanic who repaired this decided not to rebuild the whole engine and change all that. Which makes no sense to me. No. We could probably let it run like this because it's been running with a piston like this for over two years but eventually we're gonna have to do it so what do we do what do we do it's, it's really hard to to make the decision when you're trying to save money but also you're trying to prevent other issues to happen in the future so we went back to our airbnb and hashed this one out not doing the rebuild would save money but it would also be a gamble Rebuilding this engine in the USA or Canada would be $15,000 or more. And we were about to spend the next year and a half in the USA and Canada. And we were going to be driving the Alcan. Getting stranded and towed from there would be the cost of the rebuild right there. Another huge thing was that the rebuild would only add $600 in labor costs because the engine was already opened up. Even if we were lucky and got through the USA and Canada, and then later did the rebuild in Mexico, the labor costs would still be way higher than $600, because of course, they'd have to open it all up again. With a big gulp, we made our decision. Okay, we're gonna go see the bus. Um, it is like on day two of the rebuild process, though we don't actually know if they started that yet or if they're still working on the other stuff. So anyway, we're gonna go see her, see how everything's going, and then actually we're gonna go 
to the dentist because as long as we're stuck in one place with great dental care, just take this care. All right, so we're gonna go get some breakfast before we go and check out what's the deal with Buzz today. And uh, fill our tummies with some delicious empanadas. Tortitas de carne recién hechitas. Tortitas de carne recién hechitas. Mm -hmm. How is the car? Good, Caitlin. Come on. Come on. That was a very good breakfast. So now it's time to go and see how Bob is doing. When you see a mechanic shop this busy, it's a good sign. Look at the amount of trucks that come here and do their service. It's insane. All these semis, it's like all these white trucks, big normal looking trucks, and then you come over to this little corner and you see this crazy <laughs> colorful thing. Like, what the heck is that? <laughs> hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby Bus. So here's the engine, and we got the mechanic right here. Hi. Hi, Mrs. Mechanic. Hi, I wish I were Mrs. Mechanic. I wish I understood all this. Well, I think next time, if uh, uh, if we ever need to do this again, which we hope we don't, uh, Cora is going to be able to do it. Yeah, right, Cora? Never in a million years. Wow. This is so cool. I'm able to really see it. It really is a unique thing to see the engine of your house like this. To see all the pieces, to start to understand better how everything works. <laughs> a little grease monkey here. So cool. So cool to be able to go underneath the bus. So cool. I, it's just like, on one hand, it's a scary bad thing that it has to be undone like this, but it's also really cool because we get to actually see the guts inside and probably will never ever get to see the inside of the engine like this again. So, super cool. And then we went to the dentist. La Paz has great dentists, so we took care of that life necessity. So, H40, little bird. They do a different here, so 0705. Eight one, occupation, bus driver, address, whatever the bus is parked. <laughs> See that? That pass for now. <laughs> we will know tomorrow. State, in Baja. It's kind of interesting answering all these questions when you live in a bus. We got clean smiles. There are worse places to be stranded while your house is in the shop. La Paz is a beautiful city in Baja, full of life and culture. Of course, we were drawn to the city's many murals. We definitely have a soft place in our hearts for towns that understand the importance of public art. We didn't get out too much though. Most of the time, we were working away. A couple of days ago, we moved to a different room um, because we ended up spending a lot more time here than we thought we would. They found some other stuff with the bus happening and uh, so it's just been more time, which is actually um, okay because we had buffered off two weeks of time for the bus work 
thinking, you know, give ourselves more than enough time than we need, and it ends up being exactly that amount of time that we needed. So it's good to plan in that buffer room. So we moved to a different room, and this one's got a little more space, and it's a little more comfortable for Jose to work. As you can see, he has his whole workstation set up in this spot again. And that's my desk. <laughs> and we've just been busy bees, just trying to cram as much workout as possible while we're here taking advantage of the AC and the Wi-Fi because once we leave here, no more of that. What you working on? I'm working on some research because the next mural that I'm about to start designing is going to be in Battle Mountain, Nevada. And they want a mural that is uh, outdoorsy. So I gotta add some uh, wildlife, I think, in this uh, mural. And I'm researching what kind of animals live around that area uh, because I don't wanna put an animal that doesn't, doesn't live around there. While we worked, Jose went to check in on the bus every few days. The engine is now being put back together. This is how it looks like now. The only other thing that we had to do is we're gonna have to change the oil pump because it's a little scratch, so it's fluctuating with the pressure. But I think in the next two or three days, the bus is gonna be ready to get on the road. And then back to work. I'm just realizing how hard it is to, to make something that has been simplified look good. You will think it will be super easy. So what I'm working on here is um, the design for the next mural we're going to be painting in Battle Mountain, Nevada. And so they, like I said before, they want something that is outdoorsy. So when I think of uh, outdoors in Nevada, uh, especially in the region of Battle Mountains, there's mountains, there's uh, big horn sheep, uh, there's uh, sage grouse and bald eagles. So I'm trying to incorporate all these elements into the mural design, but... And then back to the bus. All right, so Bobby is almost ready. The radiator got installed this morning. Uh, we only waiting for one part that is uh, a hose to connect the radiator to the engine and I think that is coming either this afternoon or tomorrow morning. And once we get that, uh, they're gonna make the engine run for a few hours to make sure that everything is in place. And we're gonna be ready to get back on the road, hopefully by Wednesday. Today is Monday. But unfortunately, that was wishful thinking. Yeah, so what the guy explained to me is that they turn it on. After they turn it on, they hook up the computer to make sure the calibration is all good. It turns out that the calibration was perfect, but an injector is bad. They might have the, the injector in cowl, but they're not sure yet, because they just found out not too long ago. And it's at six o'clock, so everything's closed now. But early tomorrow morning, they're gonna find out. Worst case scenario, they don't have it there. They're gonna have it in Mochix, which is a, a town on the other side of Mother Cortez. If they don't have it there, they're gonna have it in the next town, which will add an extra day. Did he give, he didn't, he didn't have any idea how much it would cost? There are 11,000 pesos. So $550. Okay. Yeah. Well, babe. Okay. Maybe your need for speed prayers have been answered. Um, they would explain a little bit, you know, like we've, like that, that time, remember when we were en route to Tennessee, or like on our way to Nashville, and we went up, up that hill and it was just like painfully slow, and then like a bus, <laughs> you remember that a bus zoomed by us, it was like that? Like, yeah. Maybe? Maybe we'll go faster, we'll maintain a better speed um, in, in like the small inclines. We'll see. Good. I'm happy with that. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna have to stay an extra night here. Or maybe a couple of extra nights. 
But at least those extra days were filled with some unexpected friend time, which was really nice. Thank you so much, Chef. Yeah, no problem. That's I hope amazing. you guys like it. Yes. Like All right. I am the holder of the forks. Thank you. Fork holder. There you go. Thank you. Hi. Yay. <laughs> it smells so good. Oh my god, I can't. Hmm. All right, the time has come to move back to the bus. It has been two agonizing weeks of waiting and problems here and problems there. We're gonna take it out on a test drive. We're gonna drive a couple of hundred miles. Uh, so there, in case there's any adjustments or anything's wrong with it, we can come back to the mechanic shop and they can address any of those issues. So, are you excited, Cora? Yeah, I'm excited to go back to my house. Um, it is a little... It's a little bittersweet though too because we're leaving air conditioning and like high speed internet <laughs> been able to do a lot of web work uh, and be comfortable but all in all I'm really happy to go back to home. Now look there's another broke down bus. Oh that looks familiar. There's <laughs> Bubby. Moment of truth, we're gonna turn it on and see how it runs. With the bus back in business, it was time to move back in. Everything is getting back to normal. Turns out Baja is a very dusty place, and a mechanic shop in Baja is a very, 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 very dusty place. Okay, it's clean. Feels good to be home. Uh, Space is back to the way it was. It took a lot. It's very dirty, but um, we're happy to be home. And now the moment of truth. This is the moment that we test and see if the engine is gonna go good. Uh, wish us luck. Let's go test drive, buddy. Here we go. Vroom, vroom. Let's go. But not before saying thank you and goodbye to the crew. So ended the great engine rebuild of 2021. We really hope this is the last time we ever see the inside of the engine like that again. And we hope we made the right decisions. Hopefully Bobby Bus doesn't have any more engine trouble, at least while we're driving through the USA and Canada in 2021 and 2022. And now onwards to the next adventure with fingers crossed for the best. Next time on Aren't We There Yet. <gasps> no, no lo puedo creer. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a like. Subscribe to our channel. Send us a comment below. And for exclusive content and a behind the scenes view of the Aren't We There Yet journey. Join us on Patreon. See you over on Patreon.